Happy Friday, third graders. Last like subject video to watch of the day is language. And every Friday is gonna be a review day. I wanna make sure we don't have any holes that we um, understand whatever Ms. Roach has taught in the last few videos. So this is gonna be a good time. If I'm explaining something and you don't understand, go back and watch the video of that day. This is the neat thing. Who, who I never thought this would actually be kind of a, a good idea because then it's like, you know, you get home and you forget, what did Miss Roach say about this? Well, now you have it on video and you can go back and watch it. So today is kind of like a mini test day. I'm gonna move over here. Okay, so I'm gonna see if you can fill in the blank before I do or answer the question before I tell it to you. Okay, so we're kind of doing this kind of similar how we did math with our drills, okay? So, adjectives describe what? What do adjectives describe? Did you say they describe nouns? If you said they describe nouns, you are right. Adjectives describe nouns. They tell us, um, oh, oh, this is a good one. There's two questions, adjectives answer. This was back to day one. They tell us what something and how something. Anyone know? Looking for those star students out there. Who knows the two questions, adjectives answer? They answer what kind? Remember when I did like what kind of flag it was? It was a red. White, blue, rectangular, medium size, right? And it answers how many. Remember all those numbers that we could write or those number words like few, several, some, many, a lot. All of those are adjectives, even though they're not exact numbers. Okay, all right, so then that was day one. Day two, we started taking our adjectives and we added either ER or EST to them. Which one did we use? when we were comparing more than two things, or more than two people, or more than two places. More than two, if you said EST, let me see, how can I do this? So it would be three or more, right? More than two is three or more. So if I'm saying, um, so I've got three dogs at home, right? Coda, Milo, and Mitzi. And if I said, uh, which dog is the smallest. Oh, well, see, I kind of give it away there, right? If I'm doing more than um, two, if it's three or more, I have to use EST. It wouldn't say which one is smaller, right? If I'm comparing two dogs, so which one, does anyone know which dog is the smallest of those three dogs? It's Mitzi. It's the little black dog. Um, Mrs. Roach's mom's dog is our, that's the smallest dog. And then we've got Coda and we've got Milo. Who is larger, Coda or Milo? Milo's larger, and see how there was only two there? So if I'm comparing two nouns, I'm gonna use ER at the end. Smaller, larger, bigger, taller, shorter, whatever it is, okay? If I'm doing more than three and I'm saying out of all of them, what is the, the, um, the most of that adjective, so like which one's the tallest, the heaviest, the brightest, the quickest, whatever it is. Okay, we always are gonna add EST. And remember the word the always went in front. That was kind of our, our clue there. Okay, then we had more and most. Do you remember when we used those? We use these with longer adjectives. Remember like beautiful. If I wanted to say whose drawing was the was you know had the most beauty to it, I would say I was trying not to use the word there. I could say her painting is more beautiful than mine, but his painting is the most beautiful, right? So we don't say beautiful or or beautiful less. It just sounds funny, right? Okay, and then our last thing we did yesterday was articles. Does anyone remember the three articles um, that we were t hunting and finding in that paragraph about Antarctica? A was one. What was another one? An, and there was one more. The. Look how smart you guys are. 
Okay, so which one of these, A or AN, goes with the vowels? Umbrella, ostrich, octopus. Which one went? AN, that's right. This one goes with vowels. AN elephant, AN ostrich, AN octopus, AN igloo. A can go with any consonant. So, uh, peanut we had, right? Uh, dancer, uh, clown, uh, planet. I'm thinking of science. I'm going to tell you more about your planet posters later, but keep working on them if you have the supplies. If you can't get supplies, don't worry. But if you have the supplies, work on them. Sorry, I'm sort of just getting sidetracked. Okay, and then the can be used for anything. That's the best one because we don't have to worry if it's a vowel or a consonant, but this is talking about a specific one. Okay, guys, so go back. If any of this you're like, oh, I can't remember ever learning about ER or more or most, Go back to those videos. So this was day one, this was day two, this was day three, and this was day four. So if any of those were tricky to you, you're like, ah, I want to go back and watch that video. Rewatch them, and then when I check in with you, you tell me which one that you wanted to go back and rewatch. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, I'm hoping to get outside and just get some fresh air so we're not cooped up in the house all day. Um, but I love you so much. I miss you guys. And um, I am praying for you every day. Okay, love you guys. Bye-bye.